Look who's on the rooftop. It's not Santa, but Guy Fieri on the rooftop in New York City. And brother, you're so busy opening restaurants and your TV shows. How did you find time for this new cookbook? I'll tell you something, brother. I cook outdoors all the time. I mean, regard. I mean, like I'm here in New York City right now, and there's a little rain going in the back, but it doesn't matter. I love cooking outdoors. Hey, look at all the smoke and all the heat that I'm cooking with. And a lot of times when you do that indoors, I mean, I have a huge hood in my house, like a commercial hood, but most people don't. So you can't cook this way indoors. So the beauty about cooking outdoors is you can work with charcoal, you can work with hardwood, you could cook with really high flame, you can sear that meat, you can smoke that, those vegetables. I mean, there's just so many different things you can do. And I said, why not do a book that celebrates all that intensity and make it a 365 days out of the year kind of book. I don't want people to say, well, you know, it's June, so I can start grilling. No way. Just put on your parka. Get out in the rain. <laughs> Brother, your recipes are off the hook. See, Con, that's why you have this show, is because you understand all the key components. It is off the hook. Now, I don't want you to get the misinterpretation. People look at it and go, oh, I see he's chopping up peppers there. Ah, it's going to be too spicy. Guy on fire does not mean that it's a big book of spicy food. It is very full-flavored food, but let me give you an example. So I've got this pork loin here. Are you a pork fan? <laughs> Absolutely, bro, if you're cooking it. Okay, that's the way. See, again, correct answer every time. So a lot of times when people are cooking a pork loin, which you could just think about this as pork chops, okay, without the bone, is that they get real dried out, especially when you're going on the grill. So first we'll make a brine, equal parts of salt and sugar. We got some, some garlic, some peppercorn, some thyme, bay leaf, whatever concoction you like, and we're gonna brine it. We'll brine it for, you know, four to six hours. Then we take it, put a hole through the center of it, and grab a piece of andouille sausage. Now we'll take the andouille sausage, put some holes in it, and when we stuff it into the loin and we roast it, what happens is as the sausage cooks, all those juices, all that flavor of that andouille comes out into the pork loin. So take a look at this, Con. We bring this over, I'm telling you, you're at a tailgate, you're at a falcon, whatever, whatever game, whatever you're doing, cooking at home, going, going to the party, Having everybody over, I want you to just take a look at this. That is hot. Pork loin stuffed with andouille sausage. Hit a little whole grain mustard, my friend, right on top of that. And that's winner, winner, pork loin dinner. I made that up just for you. Okay. <laughs> I hope I can find that on your new restaurant in Vegas. But let's jump into it. Guess what's back? Grocery games, brother. Tell us about it. I got to tell you. When we started talking about it, we've all done grocery games. We've all gone to the grocery store when it's late. We've all gone to the grocery store and didn't have a cart. We've all gone to the grocery store with not enough money. We've done that. So that's how the games are planned. And I got awesome judges like my buddy G. Garvin, fantastic chefs from all over the country. And the chef that wins gets a shot at 20,000 bucks. New games, 26 new shows, brand new season, new supermarket, incredible. You're gonna dig it, starts this Sunday. Dude, I am so tuning in. Thank you so much for rocking it, bro. But uh, we're so lucky to be where we're at in life. We live in the greatest country, and you just had me on the show. Bye, Con.